And welcome back to the Moomba Masters finals day. We're about to move into wakeboard, but before we do, as a preliminary, we had the pleasure of having one of the legends of the sport, Sean Murray, demonstrating a few bits and pieces along the way, along the Yarra. He was mic'd up, had a heap of fun with the crowd, and that was an absolute pleasure for all and sundry. The G23 Nautique, the tow boat for the wakeboard event. We get underway with women's wakeboard. First competitor, Zara Kell from Australia. Joining me, Stu Wilson. And Stu, what can this young lady do? Well, here we go. Getting started with a hillside indie tantrum. There from Zara Kell. Straight back in on her toe side. And it is the toe side indie front roll for trick number two. As you can see, back in on her heel side edge, and there's the indie back roll. So this is a great start from our young Australian competitor. Finishing things up with a Tootsie roll and maybe one more trick. Can she squeeze it in in this first pass? And it is the backside 360, so a great first pass. Back on the water now with Zara Cal. This is pass number two and a toe side 540 degree spin to start things off from Zara. Straight back in on her heel side edge as the heel side whirly bird. We've got time for one more trick. Back in on her toe side edge and that is the dum dum. So two stand up passes from Zara Cal. Now we move to competitor number two from the USA, Jamie Lapina. Well, here we go. Jamie Lapina out here on the water, starting things off with a big nose grab, front side 180. Back in for the heel side 360, and well, just going down on that trick number two. Back on the water now, there's the heel side 360 from Jamie Lapina, no problems this time. Straight back in with the toe side front roll, and well, we've got time for one last trick, and it is that stylish stalefish grab from Jamie Lapina. Well, here we go, pass number two, and starting things in with a big tail grab just to kick off this second pass. Back in on the toe side edge, and that is the toe side scarecrow. There from Jamie Lapina. Back in now, heel side 540 degree spin and so big, landing right out into the flats. Back in and there is the switch 360 degree spin from Jamie Lopina. One last trick now and finishing things off with a tantrum to blind. Great way to finish and she's pretty happy about it. And now chasing some pretty big scores, our next competitor, Ramey Rutledge from Florida, USA. All right, Ramey out here on the water and kicking things off with a stylish method grab. The judges love seeing that sort of style in the ladies' runs. Here we go. It is the off-axis 540 there from Ramey Rutledge from the USA. A heel side 360 grabbing the board twice on that 360 degree spin and then finishing things off with the Tootsie Roll. Wow, just going down at the end of pass number one. Back on the water now with Ramey Rutledge and getting this pass number two started off with the heel side back roll, grabbing the board Indy as she goes around. Back in on the toe side edge and that's a big toe side bat wing from our US competitor. Third trick now, and it is the heel side 540 degree spin. So she is really putting the second pass together. Back in, toe side 360 and landing the board wrapped in that landing as well. Coming back in in a wrap stance, and that is the wrapped KGB to finishing off this stand up pass. And our top three ladies, uh, the results come through. First place, Zara Kell from Australia, followed by Jamie Lapina and Ramey Rutledge in third place. Now we move to the men's wakeboard final. First rider off the dock, Parker Siegel from Australia. And what a way to start. A big hillside 720 there from Parker. He's straight back in on his toe side edge. And there's the toe side off axis 900 degree spin there from our young South Australian competitor. Trick number three now. And it's the Moby Dick 540 here from Parker. We've got time for one last trick in this first pass. And it is the Chromobe 540. So two Mobe 5s 
in that first pass. And our next competitor, Shota Tezuka from Japan. All right, Shota out here on the water and starting things off with the tail grab KGB. Nice and big and as smooth as you could possibly ask for. Straight back in, toe side 900 there from Shota, making this all look very easy on the Yarra River. Straight back in, heel side 720 there from Shota and for trick number four, we're coming in toe side and it is a huge Chromobe 540. Now looking to back up a solid first pass, this is his second, Nick Rapper from Australia. Wow, that was such a big way to start this second pass. An indie Moby Dick way out into the flats. Straight back in, toe side, 900. As you can see, Nick doing a little speed check out here on the Yarra River. Back in, heel side, 900, and wow, just going down there on his third trick. One fall down for Nick Rapper from New South Wales. We've got room for one last trick, and it is the Mute Mobe 540. Well, that is an incredible way to finish the second pass. Our next rider from Queensland, Australia, Corey Tunison. Well, Corey out here on the water now, and what a way to kick this off. It is the Crow Mobe 540. Here we go, folks, on his heel side edge. And there's one, two, it is the double half cab roll here from our Queenslander. Straight back in, heel side edge again, and there's the tail grab KGB. We've got room for one last trick in this first pass, and it is the heel side 900 from Corey Tunison. Back in now on pass number two. Corey Tunison out here on the water and coming in on his toe side edge. And that is a toe side 1080 from Corey. We're witnessing history here, Stu. Well, here we go, folks. We just saw the toe side 1080 and there's the mute back mo from Corey Tunison. Will we see a stand up run here from the Queenslander? A backside 720 there for trick number three. And we've got room for one last trick and it is the front Front Mobe 540. Wow, Corey is pumping his fist and he is very happy about that. Well, he's given the rest of the riders something to chase. Now we stay in Australia. We move to our next competitor, Tony Iconi. Tony Iconi out here on the water and a great way to start things off with the Indy Moby Dick. Coming back in on his toe side edge and it is the Crow Mobe 540 there from Tony Iconi. Coming straight back in, switch starts this time, and it is a toe side 900. So the first 900 degree spin from Tony Iconi. Last trick now in this first pass, and it is the heel side 900. Bobbling on the landing, but standing up that first pass. Straight back in, pass number two from Tony Iconi, and it is the backside 720 to get things started. Here we go, and it is the front flip backside 360 there from Tony Iconi. Will we see another stand-up pass here? The Mute Mobe 540 there from Tony Iconi, and we've got room for one last trick, and it's another Mobe 5 with the front Mobe 540. Well, he seems very happy about that one as well. Well, why wouldn't he be? Well, let's go to last year's defending champion, Harley Clifford from Australia, see what he can do. Coming in and coming in really hard. And that's why, folks, a double indie tantrum there from Harley Clifford. Coming in switch starts for trick number two. And it's the double half cab roll. Wow, that is four flips in only two hits. Here we go. Straight back in. And it's the whirly dick there from our reigning champion. This is an incredible pass here from Harley Clifford. And the heel side 900. Wow, what a way to start off this run. Pass number two here from Harley Clifford, and that is a huge tail grab KGB way out into the flats. That's a blind Pete for trick number two, and oh, just losing the handle and going down at the start of pass two. 
Back on the water now with Harley Clifford. And he has some work to do if he wants to find his way to the top of the podium. That is a toe side 900 to get things underway. There's the nose grab Mobe 540 there from Harley Clifford. And we have time for one last trick and it is the nuclear toe roll to blind. Wow, incredible finish there from the reigning champion. And as official results come to hand, great day for Australia. Congratulations, Corey Tunison, our winner. Second place to defending champion Harley Clifford and Tony Iacone taking out third place. So big congratulations to all of our Moomba Masters champions for 2017 and also our overall champions, of course, Whitney McClintock and Adam Settlemeyer from the Czech Republic. Big thank you also to the Victorian Water Ski Association and great to see so many of our Nautique athletes making it onto the podium here. And make sure you check out nautique.com to follow all of those Nautique athletes. Hope you enjoyed the coverage of another great Moomba Masters. And for now, it's goodbye.